Hoping to shed light on the past, a team of forensic archaeologists mark an area for investigation. They were led to this cornfield by Maria Perez. She says this was the last place she saw her father and brother after soldiers tortured and killed them in 1982. We're not sure we'll find the remains, but we'll try our very best. And we'll keep looking until we locate them, or until we're sure they're not here. 32 years after the bloodiest period of Guatemala's civil war, clandestine graves like this are still being dug up across the country. Today, it only takes the archaeologist a few hours to find human bones and a handful of clothes. Maria's tears betray a mixture of grief and relief at finally being able to put her family to rest. But locating the clandestine grave and removing the bones is only the first step. But it's here in Guatemala City, far from the mountain villages where the massacres took place, that scientists are analyzing the bone samples and giving evidence for criminal trials. Here, dozens of young Guatemalans are using cutting-edge tools to identify victims from the country's 36-year civil war. Bones are documented before being hammered into fragments and eventually ground into a fine powder. From here, the powder is put through a series of steps in order to extract the DNA. It's a lengthy process, but one that's yielding results. This work has become crucial because it has, what it has done is it has gotten a lot of families to come forward and tell stories that have never been told. It has allowed us to identify people that we would not have been able to identify by any other means. Whether providing evidence to help bring former military men to trial or helping families find closure, Forensic science has taken root in Guatemala. Digging up the past, it seems, might be the best way to help the country move into the future. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, Guatemala.